if you could change one thing that holds trans women of any nationality, any ethnic group back, what would you change? Um, Got you, did No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> My only dream in life is dismantle oppression. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what, what, what facet of oppression? All of it. Oh, okay. okay. Right. If I could wake up tomorrow and oppression, had, there was no such thing as oppression. It would give all of us the opportunity to thrive and live and be. But also, I feel like oppression is a tool that we can use to also thrive and live and mm. be. Because once you recognize what oppression is and how that system, you know, disempowers us, you become empowered. You better talk about it. So, I don't even think that I would want to wake up and there not be oppression because then I would, what would I have to do in life? <laughs> oh yes, love and cook and go boating and hang out with friends. <laughs> what about skydiving? You want to go skydiving? <laughs> <laughs> if I jump, I'll be playing with you, John. <laughs> You're <laughs> just going to just watch it ride on in the plane, right? <laughs> yeah, I like to have drinks on the plane. Yes. All right, I'll make sure it doesn't bother me, but then you'll jump out with me if, if you have no drinks in you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Incidentally, I saw this young lady give the keynote. She was a keynote speaker at an event called the Mascara, Mascara Symposium out in Jersey. From I had never met you before. But at that moment, I fell in love with you. She gave such an eloquent speech. She sounded like Maya Angelou. And that's where I put you at with your eloquency as far as your speaking, your enunciation, and all that. I put you right up there with her, baby. So you take that and hold on to that. Never change that part of yourself. And I'm glad to ask you that question. I have no words. <laughs> I have no words. And I give it from the heart. I give it to you real. I'm raw. Anybody here that knows me, I'm raw. Yeah. I don't hold nothing back. She felt like it is. I think most people on this panel are just like that. And you assembled an amazing panel of um, momentum builders who live unapologetically in their truth. I'm honored to be up here sitting with you guys. I'm not worthy. I am not special. I wake up every day oppressed like everyone else and wanting happiness like everybody else. And you know, I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for your kind words. I was gonna ask someone, like, what is the trans woman of color collective? Because you know you hear of it, but you don't really have a true definition of what it is. So, okay. so everyone in the room have a clear idea of the trans woman of color. That is a very interesting and exciting question, Danielle. Um, the trans woman of color collective is an amazing, amazing group of momentum builders, all trans women of color from the greater New York area who are working together to control our narratives, to empower each other, to, to develop and build sisterhood, to, to develop and build enterprise, sustainable initiatives. And I am so super excited. Um, we came together um, over the Alon Meadows vision. Um, that was the catalyst for our forming. Um, in that moment, in that time, this young, beautiful, vibrant trans woman was beaten outside of the police station and her murderer still walks the streets. And at the vigil, we were there to support the family. And the people that were speaking, who were supposed to be allies of the trans community, misgendered trans women, and continuously just, it was like they were taking the but knife and, and screwing it It was in. like we were getting beat. It was like Alam was dying all over again right there. Right. And um, we were like, you know what, enough. 
We're not about to be arguing and fighting with people. We're just going to create our own. And this has been an amazing run for us. We have been visible. We have been living unapologetically in our truth. We have been creating leadership. Um, Daniela is on our board, and she is the youngest member of our board. Our board ranges from, um, how old are you again? <laughs> 19. Yes, 19. 19 to 52. Um, most of our board are, are, uh, come from different backgrounds, different professions. Um, all these women have uh, amazing stories to tell and amazing gifts to contribute to this movement. And we are a force to be reckoned with. We're not beholden to anyone but ourselves. And, and it's just an exciting time. It's an exciting time. And um, I'm glad that you brought that question up. And um, yeah. And there aren't a lot of trans women led initiatives. Kim Watson has an initiative that is amazing and doing my work. I'm a trans identified female. Um, I'm nine months short of completing my registered nursing degree. I, just, um, I only mention that because I want you guys to know that um, we are out there, trans is out there, and we are very, very, very interested in furthering our community, and I'm so fueled by it. And um, earlier today I met Cece McDonald, and um, she, she gave some very inspiring words to me. Um, the, the traction that we meet with is that we're looking for, you know, these platforms and these venues and these events. We're trying to unify and we, we really want to move forward. But it's so hard, to, they're so hard to find and they're so few and far between. I actually happened to find out about this panel through a friend of a friend. And thank goodness I did because I'm so happy to be here and to have heard you guys speak. But um, we want to know how we can become more involved in the movement. You did. You just did. You got up and you, I'm, like I said, this morning, how old are you, baby? I'm 23. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the hell I'm talking about. The younger the better. The younger the better. Congratulations, and I want, you're going to be, you're going to be a nurse? Rinse it. A Just take credential. I like credentials, baby. I like credentials. Like is that is that the only accomplishment you're going to do in your life, or you plan to do another thing? No, um, I actually want to. I want to further my degree after that, and I want to um, ultimately work with um, within my community, the trans community, as a, uh, a nurse practitioner. Mm. Do that, absolutely. Response to your question, like I feel like what what we need to do is just, like even this moment, like building with you, like that, the relationship building is what keeps the movement alive. And so now connecting with you and other folks in this space, we can share whether it's Black Trans Media, the Trans Women of Color Collective, or any of the events, just sharing information so that we can continue to build together outside of the space too. Okay. So we should do that. I think that um, what's important um, for you to understand and always re re recognize is like every day you get up and you prepare yourself to leave your home, and you do the things that you do throughout your life. That is an act of revolution. As a black trans woman, to live in your truth every day, you're part of a movement. With your friends, talking about these issues, and becoming, um, coming to panels like these, but also just having these conversations in your own house, or in your own communities, or with your friends. You know, it doesn't always have to be so structured and organized, because that's how movements start. So I think that that's important too, to recognize that every day, you know, is an act of revolution. When you wake up black and trans, that is an act of revolution. That is something to celebrate every single day and do that. And do it with your friends. And celebrate your friends. Make sure your friends are uh, celebrating you as well, because that's important. To add on to what Laura just said, um, the fact that you're here, I don't know if your friends are here, but you're here. And you find out to a friend of a friend, where are they at? Not you. Okay. So that tells me that you have initiative, you have tribe, you have perseverance. You're undaunted. That's the word I want you to live with. Undaunted. An undaunted survivor. That means you're doing something against the norm. You're out there getting, as I said in my time, there were no trans nurses. There were no trans people out there doing pretty much anything, but they, like I said, they call them drag queens, doing shows, building bodies and doing shows. You're doing something out of the norm. Prove society wrong. That's all I'm asking you to do. Prove society stereotypical of what a trans, a, a, a man in a dress, as they like to call it sometimes. 
prove them wrong. That's all I ask. Like I said, when I close my eyes, continue to prove society wrong. Continue your struggle. Continue to come to venues like this. Like, you just got up and announced what you are. I'm quite sure Julian is going to want to know what your name and everything is. You should be sitting up on this panel, baby. That's what you should be. You should be doing one of the panels. Not just coming, but participating as a panelist. Because you are what this world is going to You're the one who's going to inherit this world. We're God. When we're all God, you're, when I'm too old and on crutches, really, like I said, try to get me some, <laughs> you're going to be left here and this is your world, baby. So y'all make the best out of it y'all possibly can. These are two dynamic young women. Can we get a round of hands? Hand? Teaching down to each other and empowering and reaching out. It starts just by a conversation. 